Okay, welcome back to Custom Garage. Today we're going to be working on this wall behind me. Uh, we made some changes. As you can see, we went ahead and painted it gray, uh, which isn't a bad thing because it works for a background behind what we're going to do next, which is this barn wood, which will gap up kind of funny. Next time, so you're going to wish you had the gray behind it rather than that white wall showing through. That's where we're going with it. This whole wall will be covered with this barn wood. We'll be back at you and show you how we install it here shortly. Thanks for watching. Get an angle nail this way, hold the boards together. Okay, the next one is going to have to be trimmed. This is a lot. Make sure we start the level and we finish the level. We can't nail here. Why are we going to get two nails in the middle? Just that's probably not a good idea. So we'll take and I think what we'll do is we'll try to get it. I think the first one is done. And we can square it. This one we should be split on this side here. It's nice to run random colors like I'm doing here. Just to break it up. We're still bringing the light very back to the dark. Take a long level just for grounds and see. Make sure we're reading the same thing. You gotta watch sometimes with a four foot level or a two foot level. You're only picking up a certain distance. You're standing board to board like this. You can see here, if I, I'm starting to lock and adjust this accordingly as you go up the wall. Because we're starting with a small piece, which that's good. Because then we can make the adjustments. Shooting and I can adjust it. Okay, one of the things that I wanted to mention here it's a good idea to get your boxes opened up ahead of time. Not many, a couple will, will work. The reason being is I was saying how the widths of it and the thicknesses of it run, um, run differently. So if you open them up ahead of time, get yourself lined up with some wood, which is where I'm kind of at right now. You set what I already sorted. So it's kind of like a sorting process where you, you want to make sure that you're working with the same width of boards. Color doesn't matter because you're going to want to make the very anyway, but... So, this stuff's running pretty close. I was surprised in the past I used it and it was consistent. So what I do is I take them out and turn them on their side. And that right there will tell you exactly where, what you're working with. This board is narrow and this one is narrow. So immediately when I get them out there. So see what I'm doing now? Now I'm working with boards that are just about the same width which will give me a good appearance. The ones that are a little narrower, I'm setting them off to the side for now. Another stack that's kind of narrow too. When I get enough of them, I'll do a whole roll of boards that are just a pinch narrower because I know they'll all line up all the way across the wall. So there's one box there. That gets rid of those. Okay, so that, that will work for my next um, my next layer of going up. Um, but I think I'm going to do two boxes. That way I can get them up on the, up on the step. Well, I've got one up there already. All I'm trying to do is get enough wood up there so I don't have to keep coming up and down off the scaffold. That can even wear out a young man like myself. Believe it or not. I think I've got a couple here. So we'll just get them in another stack. That's one of them a little narrower. Let's put these on up. 
You can see there, we got a little variation in them, not much. If you want to get a little more pickier, you could, you could take a few of them out. This, one, this one's kind of funky here. I mean, just like the way they're running. Oh, all of those. I'm just going to get everything back up on this gap for my salon. I've got everything I can get from the floor. So we'll be back at you here. Stay tuned. Okay, here we are. We got about mm, one eighth of the wall done, as you can see. We're moving ourselves across, staggering the joints by cutting one board shorter, every other one, or pretty much every one. You can see I got my stop block there to stop me from going too far or getting an uneven edge. When we're done, we'll just pull that piece of molding back down. Um, we're gonna continue from here and uh, follow along. Welcome back to the channel. Thought I'd come back and show you a little more of the progress we've made on this side wall here. We've gone ahead and added some up here at the top to finish off above where the cabinets are gonna finish up. And then if you come back this way, we're just finishing up the last couple of pieces here. But I thought I'd shoot a quick video and let you see what this looks like as a whole. And we'll be coming back and doing some more work on the other end of this wall with the cabinet. It's gonna be a a tool storage cabinet with barn doors in front of it, which I'm gonna make from scratch. We'll do some videos on that, bring you up to speed on that. Once again, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification for the next video, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.